Clams have been described as the liver of the river because of their cleaning potential. And a team on the first coast is making it their mission of cleaning rivers in Florida and doing it with the power of clams. Tonight, how the team is taking its efforts to a higher level. Along waterways in Florida, three men are on a mission, a clam farmer, a scientist, and a drone pilot. Their goal, cleaner waterways. We're under threat with poor water quality. Their secret weapon, baby super clams. Those are two millimeters. Two years ago, Dr. Todd Osborne, a biochemist with the University of Florida, and clam farmer Mike Sullivan teamed up to pour clam larvae, cup by cup, into the Matanzas River in St. Johns County. And now they've advanced their mission. It's gonna take off and fly to here. With a drone that drops these tiny clams by the thousands into the river. Clams act like filters. You know, they clean water. They take particles out of the water. And that's a great thing for, for our waterways and to keep them healthy. It helps everybody, everybody that lives in Florida. It helps the economy because it creates jobs that promote tourism, which is more jobs. Sullivan has a shellfish hatchery in Crescent Beach. Probably 150 in there. And he knows what happens when a river goes bad. His whole clam farm in New Smyrna in the Indian River got wiped out in 2011 and 2013 by brown tide. But there were survivors and we found those and that's what we bred to, to get these. He restarted here in St. Johns County and those survivors he brought with him are called super clams. These are found right out here. Now Sullivan breeds millions of them to sell to farmers and to restore riverways. And here at Sullivan's Place, these really are the granddaddies of the Matanzas River super clam. These are still producing the little tiny clams that are being dropped by the drone in the Matanzas River. Ernest Hale's drone can carry 50 pounds of clams at a time. He engineered a drone attachment that carefully drops the baby clams and keeps them wet. Which is the key to the whole operation is that the, the clams themselves can't dry out. These guys can't get dry or they're not going to survive. It's hard to see, but the drone is actually dropping a million clam babies during this session. But why drop clams from a drone? If we put them out in a very dispersed pattern, but consistently, then the predators really have to work to get at each one of those. And so the theory is that those, that's going to increase the, the likelihood of survival. Survival of the clams can give rivers a better chance of overcoming human population growth along their banks. So this special ops team is dropping millions of baby clams into the Indian River Lagoon in Central Florida, where Sullivan had to leave, as well as here in the fairly healthy Matanzas River. And so we're trying to be a little proactive here. In, in, in St. John's County and, and Northeast Florida, really. Nice. To better clams. And more clams. And more clams, billions more. So this is an ongoing project. In fact, the team aims to drop a billion clams into the Indian River Lagoon in Central Florida.